I'm Dale Baltrop and I'm the first violinist in the Australian String Quartet. So we are about to embark on our third and final national tour of the year and that involves works of Schubert, uh, James Ledger, wonderful West Australian composer and Dmitry Shostakovich. We have a new guest cellist for this tour, Sharon and Seb are at home and uh, we have uh, Blair Harris from Melbourne, a uh, beautiful chamber musician. He currently plays with Ensemble Offspring, which is a Sydney-based new music ensemble. He uh, brings so much energy and so much uh, thought um, to the music and it's just a, it's really inspiring working with him. I love chamber music. I love the idea of collaborating uh, with such interesting minds and being able to discuss and talk about so many different aspects of the interpretation. It's the pinnacle for me of what I want to do with my life. So being able to spend time with such great musicians um, and great music um, makes me very happy and very inspired at the moment to be here. The Schubert Rosamund Quartet for me is one of the most iconic and heartbreakingly beautiful pieces of chamber music ever written. It is one of Schubert's greatest works. You know, really one of the great pieces in the canon. Actually, my favourite of all of Schubert's quartets. It's something that we felt would be a beautiful way to start a program. You know, you walk in out of your busy life and there's time to settle in Schubert. There's time to relax and time to let the layers come off and, and feel part of being human again. Schubert was in quite a low point of his life at this stage. So he had syphilis and um, his mind and body were both deteriorating. It would be a shame just to say it's depressing, but it is unhappy. It's an incredible unhappy. It's like you're, you're smiling while you're crying and that melancholy that runs throughout the, the piece is it's just so uh, irresistible to me. The piece is such a personal description of what Schubert was going through at the time, and all of this comes out in this poetic, song-like music. I think we actually see the beauty in it, because, you know, we'll finish a movement and go, oh, it's such great writing. So we approached James and asked him if he'd like to write a quartet for us. When we approached him about this particular commission, he asked us if we might be open to the idea of including an electronic component to the work. And that got us quite excited. We were like, yes, that's great. Sure, whatever you want. And so this opened up a whole host of possibilities for James to really explore new sounds and new ways of writing. It is a live manipulation, so what we play then gets reversed or distorted or taken down an octave and slowed, therefore slowed down. And it's quite cool because it doesn't sound like us, but you know that you played it. Well, this is a totally new experience for me playing um, what essentially could be described as a quintet. But this particular sound world is really innovative and quite exciting to be a part of because there's nothing like it. James is a great friend of the quartets. Um, he actually wrote his first string quartet, Processions, for the ASQ just under a decade ago. We feel very fortunate that one of Australia's greatest uh, living composers is, is writing uh, his string quartets for us. James is a composer. He's always looking for new colours. I get the sense of some other composers when I'm listening to his music, yet his voice is always James Ledger. So the uh, Shostakovich that we're playing is his 10th quartet. He wrote 15 in all. And I think that Shostakovich really um, used the string quartet medium to voice his most personal thoughts and reactions to what was going on around him in his life. We've been wanting to play some Shostakovich for a long time now. Uh, incredible composer, 15 quartets of course. It's hard to imagine how recently it was written, yet how it is definitely of a time. 
it's just occurring to me that this program is quite dark. <laughs> There's a lot of very rich and highly personal um, agendas with these composers. Dostoevsky, of course, shares some of his most heartbreaking and beautiful melodies and a lot of anger towards political climates that he lived his life in. And for us, we get to share all of that extreme emotion as well. It's an extremely demanding work physically. The first movement is quite serene. The second movement is where your heart gets pumping and by the end of the second movement it's actually physically exhausting and I wonder whether that was in his mind, whether he wants you to kind of give it everything and then almost fall apart, only to have to, you know, sing this, this big, um, you know, sort of defiant song afterwards. There's definitely an element of fatigue at the end of a Shostakovich cocktail. You must have put yourself through the ringer. And to perform the, the music, there is a muscular element to it, but then there's also the most infinite level of control of really long notes that just don't want to move. I think it is a remarkable work. It is definitely a, a work of questions. It's a work that is searching but it also is a work that has moments of terror and then, and then moments of great beauty. And I think everyone will have their own reaction uh, to, the, to the music, but um, after the journey that you've gone on throughout the four movements, uh, it's, it's really the most remarkable way to end a national program for the year.